Hi there, it's Rob from On Stage Lighting. Welcome to the first in a series of videos about using AutoCAD uh, in 2D to draw stage lighting plans. Uh, over the series of videos we're going to look at the basics of how you can wrangle AutoCAD to become a kind of semblance of a lighting designer's uh, tool uh, using basic 2D uh, blocks and attributes. In this first video we're just going to look at the basics of how you make a lighting symbol so that you can put it onto a plan um, let's go over to AutoCAD now. What we're going to be doing basically is we're going to be taking uh, a lighting symbol, in this case there's a little source for Junior here, uh, and, uh, and we're going to be able to turn that into a block, but also we want to be able to, at the end of it all, display things like the colour, the purpose, um, and the channel number. Uh, it's going to be quite rough this particular video, so um, there's lots of other things you could do to make your final drawing uh, much neater. For example, you could create a circle to fit um, your channel number in uh, and various other bits of kind of graphic detail. But we won't worry about that too much. The first thing we need to do is we need to start off with a lantern itself. And so basically what this is, is a piece of just a bit piece of 2D geometry. And I got it from the ETC website. Because I tend to work in metric, um, I did have to scale it um, down because the uh, the AutoCAD drawing that I got from ETC, I think, was in inches. Um, so I had to get the scale right. But basically, I've got this uh, nice little s s bit of geometry that um, is, is represents as ETC source four. The first thing I'm going to do is quite tidy this uh, this piece of geometry. It's not too bad. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this geometry itself onto a, a layer which isn't layer zero. Now I've got some other layers down here and one of the th one of my layers is LX Instruments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that geometry onto my LX Instruments layer um, because I'm making the block up and I want to put different layers in for different parts of the block. So the first thing is, is that I, when this block goes into a new drawing I will have a layer then called LX Instruments and I can turn that on and off and manipulate it. The second part of this is that I want to put in, um, in this block, I want to put in an attribute. Now an attribute is kind of a piece of data that's attached to a block. And in this case, I want to put in an attribute which is the color. In order to do that, I need to define the attribute. And the AutoCAD command is ATT. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this color. Um, I could put a prompt in to help the user. Um, I could say... Uh, what gel number, uh, for example, Lee 201, and then a suggested value. The suggested value is the default value, um, which when it, if you don't set anything at all, if you don't set any um, uh, attribute, uh, it, it goes in. Now, in our case, I'm going to put in open white because I want that to, every lantern I put down, I don't want to put a color in it. I just want it to leave it open white unless I change it. Now the next thing here is the text size. Now in this particular drawing, um, I'm not going to worry too much about annotative text and various uh, other slightly more complicated things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a standard text style. Um, I'm going to just align it to center and then I'm going to set it a height that means I can see it on the, on the, on the model itself. So um, if you know about AutoCAD text styling and scaling, it's a little bit more complicated. But in this case, we're just going to have a straight text height of 100 mil. Uh, check all this, all good, um, specify on screen where I want to put it, uh, I, want, I don't want it to be invisible and basically I'm going to hit save now and then I can put the colour in front of the lantern itself. Now the funny thing is, is when you drop the uh, attribute down, um, it quite often doesn't come in, the, it, does, it doesn't appear in the place you want it to because of the justification. So quite often you find it a bit tricky to get it to um, sit down where you want it to go. Um, because AutoCAD seems to try to drop it down, you can't put where the mouse comes down and it looks as if it's going over the lantern. Um, but this is center justified, so it drops it down in the center. So anyway, I've got this attribute here. So I've basically got a basic piece of geometry and an attribute. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to put this attribute on its own layer. So I'm going to uh, just open up my LX label color layer and I'm just going to put uh, this particular label on there. What that means then is that when I turn the label off, it's going to disappear. Again, it's quite handy here. I've got a few different layers for the labels themselves. Um, it's quite a good um, idea to set different layers for different labels. I and mean, You can obviously turn things off, on and off in the drawing uh, or display them as you want. So we haven't actually made this into a block yet, so I'm just going to select this 
and make it into a block, which is B, and I'm going to call it um, source for junior. Uh, I need to just make sure, I'm going to save this block in millimetres, I'm going to convert and the scale. The other thing I want to do is I want to pick the insertion point, so that's where um, it, the block is going to go in when I drop it down with my mouse. So I'm going to do that, so I'm just going to put it sort of in the middle of the lantern where I would if I was going to hang it up. Uh, I don't need to write a description, but I could do if I wanted to. And then I'm going to create the block. Okay, so what happens now is that um, because this is turned into a block, the block that's on the drawing, it's asking me what the gel number is. I'm just going to click that away. Now, what I'm just going to show you now is um, how I can then insert another block. So if I was doing my lighting plan, um, I could do an I, hit insert. I can pick source for junior. There's also other options down here as well, but I'm just going to drop it straight into the drawing. As soon as I click it, it says what colour do I want. Right, I want um, Lee 103 hit confirm and then it gives me Lee 103. If I were to copy that obviously I could copy the lantern and I can select it itself do multiple lantern types and when you want to, uh, if you want to uh, actually edit the colour on this particular lantern then you can double click on it there's a value that pops up here, you can see we've got colour Lee 103, so I'm going to do 013, make it a bit more orange, okay. So that's basically the, the basis of how you use your 2D blocks to dis, uh, display um, lantern symbols and their um, various bits of data. In the next video we're going to look at some other bits of data that you can also add.